Hey everyone, today we're gonna look at some of the top neighborhoods to live in in Spruce Grove. So stay tuned as we discuss pricing, location, schools, nearby amenities, everything you wanna know. Here to help you move to the Edmonton area, my name is Adrian Carlton with EXP Realty and you are watching YEG Cribs. Here we go. If you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. Next up, one of my favorite neighborhoods and also one of the most popular neighborhoods to live in is Greenbury. Greenbury was developed in a brownstone style, so it's got a really classic, timeless look to it with the brownstone style front with all the nice rocks. It just looks beautiful. I mean, it's not a new, new neighborhood anymore, although they are still building in it. Um, but some of the homes in there are around 10 years old now, but they still just look amazing and it's timeless looking. There is a green element to the neighborhood as well, where you get some kickbacks because of efficiency. And you know, there's some wind turbines in there that are producing energy. Not every house has that um, upgrade, upgraded level to it. So you wanna look into that when you are moving into that area. If that's something that's important to you, make sure you're checking on that with the realtor if the seller of that house actually did get those you know, upgraded things done to get the kickbacks from the government and to get the energy efficiency discounts and whatnot. But if you just love a beautiful area with a unique style and the ultimate best part is that it's close to Jubilee Park, then you are gonna love this neighborhood. Jubilee Park is now Spruce Grove's premier park for families, for, any, for anyone. If you have a dog and you want to go to a wicked off-leash area, if you want to go through walking trails, um, it's got a couple different age-appropriate playgrounds for different ages, and then it's got a nice big hill on it so you can go tobogganing in the winter. And the best part is it has an incredible spray park. So this spray park was just done a few years ago and it's like, I have kids and we love to go there. Sometimes I even go in the water, <laughs> it's awesome. So it's just a really great park. It's kind of like the crown jewel of Spruce Grove for families and they even hold their Canada Day festivities there. So you've got just a wicked place that you know has tons of space. And so if you live there, you might be watching the, the fireworks from your backyard you'll be able to just walk from your neighborhood over to the festivities, over to the playground or the spray park. Whereas a lot, a lot of other people, they have to take a shuttle over to Canada Day or you just don't have that luxury of living that close to the park. So that has really made the real estate in Greenbury desirable to be able to live that close to Jubilee. So that's another thing to keep in mind. So when you're looking at Greenbury, you know, you've got a really good range of starter home type places and prices all the way up to a family that might have a higher income that they can spend on a higher priced home. So you can get your townhomes, um, row houses, duplexes, which that all starts in around, you know, 315, you know, for townhome going up to the duplexes are now closer to 400. Um, the town, the row houses will be 315 to 330, 340 in that range. Then your duplexes are around the 400 mark and then moving into single family is closer to 500 and homes can go all the way up to around 750 or even a little bit higher um, depending what they're backing onto and how they're finished. There are some really great spots in Greenbury where they're backing onto storm ponds or onto the forest and those lots are prime and they usually go really quick and those houses usually have a lot of upgrades. So if you can score one of those with a walkout basement and it's fully finished then you're looking at you know around that 750 mark. So just up the road you've got Greystone Centennial which will be your middle school and then a few blocks away, quite close, in Prescott, you've got Prescott Learning Center. Prescott, just a little side note, that's also another nice neighborhood. It's right beside Greenbury. It doesn't have the brownstone, but it does have some very nice houses. It's a newer area and you're right near Prescott School. So if you find that valuable, then you know you can be walking distance to school. All right, finally, my favorite neighborhood, Fieldstone. This is kind of a little bonus because I don't know if it fits the typical criteria of what makes 
a neighborhood, one of the best neighborhoods, but I just think it's really freaking cute. It is an adorable neighborhood. Um, it's characterized by unique homes that were built in a certain period of time where, you know, the builders that were around at that time, they built at that time, then they stopped. And there just isn't anywhere in Spruce Grove that has these same kind of homes. What I would compare it to is like the Shire. You go in, there's big trees draping over the streets and the, the houses have all these cool stone on them. And there's just, they're all unique. Each one's a little bit different. It is not cookie cutter, which is what you typically see now in the newer neighborhoods is, you know, you've got three or four builders in an area and they have their templates of homes that they're building. So it's alternating all these homes and builders, but they all look the same because they're just reproducing those houses. Fieldstone is not like that. It's got a very unique palette there. And so you really feel when you go in that each home is unique and beautiful. A lot of them have been renovated inside or are starting to get renovated now. They are a little bit older, you know, built in the 90s-ish. And so it's got a little bit of an older vibe, but you've got mature trees. You're backing onto the golf course in a lot of spots in this neighborhood. And now that some of them are getting renovated inside, they're just like Mwah. prime real estate. So if you were to buy something there older, fix it up, you're gonna build some good equity. Or if you buy something that's already fixed up, you have bought a jewel, in my opinion, in Spruce Grove. It's a very small neighborhood and it's kind of centrally located just off of the, one of the main roads called Grove Drive, which you take Grove Drive to kind of get around Spruce Grove. Um, it's a decent location, but ultimately it's just a beautiful little neighborhood. For pricing, you're gonna start probably in the 400s, depending how big the house is, if there's been any renovations, and it will move up to 750, 800. The schools that you're zoned for, you're kind of back into the central Spruce Grove vibe. So you've got Mill Grove and Woodhaven. And super cool, that's just right up the road from this neighborhood is the Composite High School. So if you did live in Fieldstone, your kids can pretty much walk to the high school. So that means you don't have to buy them a car at 16. No car, you're walking. <laughs> All right, guys, I went over what I feel are the top neighborhoods now. There are a lot of other neighborhoods that are very similar to some of the ones that I mentioned here. So, you know, when you've got Spruce Grove and it's everything's close together, it's not like it's a gigantic city. All of the newer neighborhoods are very similar and there's just slight variances. Like if you're in McLaughlin, you're now two minutes away from the tri-leisure instead of five. It's really not that big of a difference if you're in a different neighborhood that's a little farther away, it's still really close. So that being said, if you don't find a house that is in one of these top neighborhoods, trust me, you'll be able to find something that you'll love just as much in a different neighborhood. And especially if you're calling me, I will help you find that perfect home and find out your family's needs or your needs and help you find that perfect fit. So there's lots of options. Anyways, my name is Adrian Carlton again. Thank you so much for watching and feel free to reach out if you have any questions. If you wanna see more content like this about the Edmonton area and the surrounding places to live, feel free to subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button and even send it to a friend. If you know someone that's looking to possibly move to this area, I would love to connect with them. So feel free to share this with a friend. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.